All right, guys, I hope you're doing great. Now, I know you are preparing for the DV interview and there are things that concerns you so much and you are seeking clarification. For example, there are those asking questions regarding the vaccination record, so-called immunization record. And they are asking where they can obtain that immunization record. For sure, we know that after you've gotten your second notification letter, the next step is to plan for the DV interview. And you only have six weeks or four weeks thereabout. And you need to hurry to prepare the documentation. And in the process, you also need to go through the medical examination. And the medical examination needs you to book an appointment with the specified medical center by the embassy. And we know going through the medical examination can be expensive, especially if you are a large family. And therefore, you are seeking for ways in which you can reduce that overall cost. And one of the ways that you've had is about going with the immunization record. If you have immunization record, you go with it. And if on the list of the immunization that you've undergone, some of the diseases you have been vaccinated against are listed in the CDC, then they will be eliminated from the vaccinations that you are required to take. And therefore, this reduces the number of vaccinations for you and your family that will go through during the medical examination and therefore reducing the cost. And therefore you're wondering, where can you get? And therefore the immunization record is a big concern to you. So this video that you're about to watch speaks into details about the immunization record. And should you worry at all if you can't find one, watch this video and get your answers. Now, coming back to the medical examination for the diversity visa. There are questions regarding the immunization record. What is the immunization record? And where do I get it from? First of all, we know that the medical examination process requires some fee and it might be somehow expensive. And people are looking for ways to reduce these charges. And one way of reducing the charges is by you presenting your immunization record. And this record must match with the diseases listed by the CDC that should be vaccinated against. So what is an immunization record? This is a record of all the vaccination that you have taken, all the immunization that you've gone through since you were born. And if in this immunization record that you have, there are immunization against the diseases listed by the CDC, then you can reduce or you can cut your cost. And where do you get it from? Remember, since you are born, there are several vaccinations that you have gone through. And there is a record showing all those vaccinations that you've had. This is the record that we are referring to. So you get it from your physician. Your parents might be having your records. You can request from your parents or from the hospital that you've been visiting since you are young. Another question still on the medical examination is, if I can't access my immunization records, do I have to worry or what should I do? And guys, there is no problem at all if you cannot find any record of your immunization. That is not a problem. 
you will go to the examination center and the examination center specified by the embassy they are mandated to examine you whether you have these vaccinations that is number one and if they find that you don't have or you've not received them then they are mandated to administer those vaccinations to you before you go for your interviews so those two are their roles if they find out that you have no immunization then they will administer them to you before you go there of course at a fee so you should not worry at all still another question on the same someone else asks can i go get the immunization before i go for the medical examination uh, my answer would be there is no need if you have your second notification letter and you have no immunization done to you or you cannot trace your immunization record you should not go to any physician or any hospital to get the immunization no you don't have to do that the best advice would be go to the medical examination just as you are together with the derivatives and there you will receive all the vaccinations required they are mandated to administer and make sure that you have all the vaccinations required before you go for your interview so no point of looking for a medical center to get the immunization no point in that just go the way you are and you will get the vaccinations over there still another question on the medical examination is about the covid vaccination but guys this is serious up to now you should have received your jab you should have gone for your jab i mean who is outside there that have not yet received the vaccination anyway for the covid do it now go for the jab right away take your vaccination against covid it is all over and it is free go and do your covid vaccination it is even safe for you i come to the end of this video i hope i've clearly answered your questions regarding the medical examination please do me a favor and like the video and share it out and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so and let's meet in the next video